Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you about YouTube's obsession with come shop with me videos. Now, before we get into today's discussion, I need to start by saying I feel like I might be the only person, but I'm sure I'm not, let me know in the comments down below. I admittedly don't watch come shop with me videos. I don't indulge in come shop with me videos. I don't enjoy them. And it doesn't come from a place of, oh, because, you know, it may trigger some impulsive shopping. It may, you know, it may make me make a silly purchase decision. I just don't enjoy watching that type of content personally. It's just not for me. I don't find it interesting. It's not the type of videos I like to watch online. But admittingly, I have partaken, I have created come shop with me videos in the past and that's simply because those videos do really well on YouTube. Those videos do incredibly well. If you manage to film a come shop with me video, you know off the bat that, I mean obviously of course if you are a shopping channel, you know that that, that video is automatically going to do really well. When you actually think about the concept of come shop with me videos, other than the stress, because I do find it stressful, the stress of trying to film in public and also being told by department stores and people who work in stores to like, you know, stop filming, you're not allowed to do that, don't do that here. I find that very stressful. The anxiety is enough, no, nah, no, nah, I don't enjoy it. But if you actually are not someone who's bothered by that, if you don't care if somebody, you know, in a store, tells you to stop doing something. If you can get past that, these videos perform really well. If you are somebody with a, you know, you don't need a really large channel. For a shopping channel that may be pulled in, say, let's say 50,000 views for a shopping video, and then if you factor in the affiliate links in the description, a shopping video like that could be raking in anywhere between, I'd say, I mean, I'd say like, a thousand, a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars minimum. You never know with affiliates because depending on the price of the item, you could be looking anywhere from like fifteen hundred dollars to two thousand, depending on depending how engaged the audience is and how you know how many people click the links. A video like that could make you know a grand minimum, fifteen hundred dollars, two thousand dollars. When you think about a day's work, essentially just being going around the shops shopping and just showing people things and you can make like 1500 2000 bucks off that that's kind of wild like that's kind of crazy to think about so these videos perform very well i'd love to hear from you in the comments down below do you indulge in these videos do you like come shop with me because there is a huge community of people that enjoy this type of content i mean even if you just go on youtube and look at how many sh come shop with me videos are uploaded on a daily basis it's quite a lot and when we break down the different genres of come shop with me videos you know you have come shop with me thrift edition you have come luxury shopping with me you have come home decor shopping with me come halloween shopping with me come sephora shopping with me ulta shopping with me target shopping with me the list goes on you know forever 21 there is so many different genres of come shop with me videos that fit under the general umbrella of come shop with me videos it's a lot, it's a lot, okay? So depending on what your particular come shop with me style is, there's a video to suit you. There's a video to suit everyone. And that's like me, you just don't have any interest in them and you just, you don't watch them. But again, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Do you indulge in these type of videos? If so, what is your chosen genre of choice in the come shop with me realm? The come shop with me videos aren't really anything revolutionary. They're basically just the modern version and YouTube's version of QVC or the Home Shopping Channel. The concept was first popularized in the US in the 1980s when Lowell Bud Paxson and Roy Spear launched a local cable channel known as the Home Shopping Club, which later launched nationally as the Home Shopping Network. It later gained competition from QVC, which would eventually acquire HSN in 2017. Now, I truthfully don't know how popular the Home Shopping Network is currently. I think there's probably still a large demographic and a large audience of people who still tune in to the Home Shopping channel. But I think for Gen Z and millennials and maybe even boomers, is that the next one over? I don't know. Anyway, for people around my age bracket, I think that YouTube's Come Shop With Me is basically the modern Home Shopping Network. Just to point out a few comments that I managed to find from a variety of different Come Shopping With Me videos, I think it gives a really good indication as to why these videos are so popular. These videos make my day. I'm a shopaholic, but don't always get time to go. So I live my shopping life through these. 
thank you. I feel like I'm doing my online shopping through this video and I love it. Honest to goodness, if I stumbled upon this outlet, I would be skipping from store to store. How grand are these outlets? Awesome bargains. Thanks for bringing us along. I mean, I don't know about you, but I have memories of my teenage years. The first friend in the friendship group that got her license and then you would all drive to the mall together and you know, she'd drop you back home and you'd be like, oh, thanks for, pick thanks for picking me up and taking me. I'll see you later. Like that is kind of the same vibe. Like this parasocial relationship is so strong. It's like, thanks for bringing us along. Thanks for taking us to your shopping. It's like it's kind of the same thing I would say when a friend <laughs> picked me up and dropped me off. Oh my God, I've been waiting for someone to finally show me that uh, Jacques Mousse Petit blah, blah 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 in person and I'm so glad it was you reinforce why I love your channel We'll have to definitely add that bag to my cart now I think a lot of people use these videos solely as entertainment, but I also think there is maybe a, a good number of people who I mean like that first woman she literally she admitted that she was a shopaholic um, But she doesn't always get the time to go in and I would even argue maybe she doesn't always get the time but she always always doesn't necessarily have the the funds and the the money to be able to, to keep up with her habits. So I think there is maybe this element of an artificial fix, if you will. Like it's not the same thing as if you were to be out here spending all that money and buying all these things, but it almost feels like it gives gives you like a little bit of a hit. I think this is a way for people to feel connected and, and kind of like the olden days of what shopping used to be, you know, like shopping used to be going to the mall with your family or your friends and just window shopping, maybe buying some things, but Come Shop With Me videos on YouTube are the new form of window shopping. It's the new form of window shopping. And I'd argue it's a little bit more of a sadder form of, of window shopping because I feel like at least with window shopping, at least with, with malls in the early 2000s that I experienced, you know, you'd go with your friends. And even if you didn't go with your friends, say you went alone, you were at least surrounded by people. You know, you at least had some of that human interaction, whether you wanted it or not. You know what I mean? Like you go into a shop and someone's like, hey, how are you? And sometimes you're not in the mood for that. But I, I'd argue that in this day and age we're living in, you know, sitting at home, there's obviously so much more convenience in just sitting on your couch looking at a mall through a screen, but you definitely don't get as much human interaction and you definitely don't get as much exercise, as much like movement, you know, that, that movement and that human interaction is a good thing. And sometimes, you know, walking, just having a little bit of that space can also deter you from making silly decisions, especially if you're with your friends. Maybe your friends will tell you, oh no, don't buy that. Or I mean, they could, I mean, you could argue they could just be as bad and say, oh no, don't buy it. But you know, when you're at home alone, sitting there, oh yep, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. My favorite influencer is showing me that. She says she loves it. Oh, I love it too. I think there is that disconnect, but I do obviously think that's the way that the world is heading. I think Come Shop With Me videos probably gained a lot more popularity during the pandemic. I mean, they've kind of always been popular and they've kind of always been a thing, but I do think that during the pandemic, they probably just grew in popularity. I also think that maybe, I mean, I could be wrong, let me know in the comments down below. I guess it's a personal thing, but I do wonder if the current economic state of the world and people who are prioritizing different things and maybe unable to shop to the degree that they once used to are now just kind of living through people who are still being able to shop. I wonder if it's almost a thing of, oh, well, you know, my financial situation's changed, my life's changed. I cannot continue shopping to the degree I once was and it, it's sad. So instead I'm gonna watch other people shop and kind of fill that void in that way. People are no longer restricted to their local malls like they used to be. Before social media, you would just go down to your local mall and what you saw was what you chose. It's what you, it's kind of what you had the pick of. Whereas now in today's day and age, we can see a variety of different online retails. We can see a variety of different options. And I would argue from all over the world, you know, when you look at Come Shop With Me videos, you see stock that maybe you don't have in your country or you see options of things that maybe you didn't even know about and then you go online and you're like, oh my God, it's they have an online website. Oh my God, they ship to my country. Awesome, add to cart, let's go. So I think we have a lot more options and a lot more possibilities. And it also allows for us to have a lot more different price comparisons. Whereas I remember as a kid back in the day, you know, my mum would be like, okay, we need to go get you a white top. Let's go. And we go to the mall and you know, I'd have maybe like three or four different shops to choose from and I'd just pick the best one that I liked. Whereas now I feel like we have so many more options, so much more to choose from than we used to. I also think people are becoming increasingly busy and I also think that people no longer prioritize in-store shopping as much as they used to. I mean, I am 
unfortunately one of those people the amount of times i say oh my god i need this oh god i don't know which one to get i don't know where i can get it from i'll just order it online it's an easier option in, in the in today's society we in the, in the hustle and bustle of life the the go 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 life that a lot of us lead we don't have as much time to go down to the local mall and browse and window shop we just don't have that same time it feels like i mean i could be wrong let me know in the comments down below especially if you're a little bit older than me but i feel like back in the day that was something that was prioritized, you know? If like I need, if I needed a top, if I needed something, I would go to the mall with my mum. We'd spend half a day at the mall looking for something and we'd come home, you know, with what we needed. Whereas now, I don't know if we just don't have that same time or our priorities have shifted and we allocate time to different things. I'd love to know what you think. I don't know, I mean, I guess it's because I was young as well, which probably feeds into it, but sometimes I think, People did, was life just slower back then? Like before social media, before online shopping, was life slower? Was it less hustle and bustle? Or is it now that I'm just an adult and I look around and I think, wow, is this, is this how my parents felt? Like was life just so bang, 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 go, go, go all the time? But I definitely think that it's part of the reason why people aren't shopping in malls anymore. Come shop with me's are more appealing. I mean, I would argue that they're more for the demographic of people who have the luxury of sitting down, relaxing and really soaking in that entertainment as much as they can. If you're a, a, a mum, you know, of, of three kids and you work 40, 50 hours a week and you're trying to support and also take care of your family and also do your house duties, I don't think that you're probably one of those people that's sitting down, you know, every night watching a 40 minute come shop with me. So I think there's very much a specific demographic of people that, that indulge in come shop with me's. Or maybe they're just something they kind of have on in the background of their life. I find it very, very fascinating, especially someone who he, it doesn't it doesn't tickle my fancy. It doesn't light me up inside. So I am very fascinated by the demographic of people who are very into come shop with me. So like I said, it's the new age of window shopping. I think it's something like 54% of global shoppers enjoy virtual window shopping more than they do in store browsing now. So, I mean, we're really seeing that decline. Social media has also kind of brought this about, but I do think online shopping has as well. I think it's innately part of our makeup and especially a lot of women to to find the best thing, the best deal, the best possible item, the best possible thing to buy. But I think, I mean, this is a whole other video, but it's definitely kind of leaked over into other areas of our life, which I think why a lot, a lot of women and a lot of men even are not forming are not forming relationships because in the in the age of Tinder and in the age of swiping, there's always the possibility of something better come, coming along. There's always the possibility and the potential that the next match will be prettier, funnier, richer, smarter, better. Now, you know, there's that problem and there's that almost that trap that a lot of people in their late 20s, 30s fall into where they're not willing to settle down because they have options. I mean, I would actually argue that it's the illusion that they have options. It's the illusion that there's always someone better to come along or there's always the next swipe, the next best thing. And I also think that that's part of the appeal about online shopping is we have so much more to choose from. We have the ability to look at, you know, a hundred different white shirts. Google white shirt for women and you have endless amounts of options to choose from. And I think that's probably the appeal of online shopping. The appeal of come shop with me is I'd say probably falls more into maybe, I don't know, I'd love to hear your thoughts, but I think partly the fantasy world, I think it kind of is a nice mind numbing, relaxing, unwinding activity for a lot of people. I also think for people, you know, who are really into fashion or, or into home decor or into makeup, whatever your item of choice is, being able to see a wide variety of different options. Cause you know, depending on what city, what state, what country you live in, the stock can vary. So I think for some people, it's almost exciting to see different items, different stock, different options. I guess for people who live in more regional areas, more smaller towns, more smaller cities, country towns, things like that, they probably don't get as much access to seeing what you know Europe has to offer, what New York or Milan or London or the big capitals have to offer in terms of shopping. So I think for some people that's really cool and that's really interesting and that's kind of exciting. I think it's a bit of a fantasy world to live through to see things like that, especially if you're based in more of a smaller city, smaller town, country town, regional areas. I think that's part of the excitement. I'd love for you to weigh in on the comments down below whether you're someone who really enjoys come shop with me videos maybe you used to be someone who enjoys come shop with me videos or if you're like me and you you've never really indulged in that kind of content i'd love for you to throw around your theory as to why you think that come shop with me videos are so popular and why you believe people love them so much i have another one linked to you right here thank you so much for joining me in today's video and i will see you in my next one bye